Hello, good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I'm going to install one of CrocBlock's template. Uh, they have dynamic templates, so it looks like they have quite a bit in, um, dynamic templates. I think they have like 12 templates here. And I'm gonna just um, install this only books. Uh, there are bookstore template, uh, which is this one, uh, so that I can just play with it. I've never done this before, so I'm gonna watch uh, uh, some of the tutorial and I'm just recording and I'm gonna just share with you today. So let's get started. Uh, first, you have to log into uh, your CrocBlock account. So I have a membership here and what I'm gonna use today is uh, this uh, CrocBlock wizard. So you can just hit download also like right here. I think this is gonna download the same thing. So I'm just to hit download and then it's going download. So this is that uh, just a fresh WordPress installed website. And as you see, uh, there's nothing in it. There's no page, uh, nothing, plugins, uh, no plugins. And actually I can delete those. And the theme file, uh, there's just a WordPress default theme. So it's, this is just uh, the fresh installed web uh, WordPress site. And just go to plugins and add new. And then I'm gonna upload plugins. Just uh, click here. And then uh, uh, I just downloaded this plugin. I'm just gonna, sorry, I just downloaded that this is a croc block wizard uh, zip file, uh, remember? So go to here. Uh, I just uh, downloaded, right? So, and back to uh, plugin and add a new and upload plugins. Here is the file. I'm gonna just uh, drag and drop right here and install it now. And then let's hit uh, activate plugin here. See what happens. Okay, so that's a welcome page. All right, so I'm gonna hit uh, this let's go button. Okay, so I have to uh, put the license key. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, find it out. All right, so I put uh, my license key and then get started. All right, so I'm gonna choose the full croc block installation. Hit the go install here. Okay, so it looks like I can choose a theme. Uh, and again, so I don't have a theme installed other than those WordPress default themes. So I'm gonna just use Kava. I'm gonna hit the install here. Uh, continue the parent theme or use child theme. You know what, I'm gonna use child theme and hit continue. So it looks like installing right now and activating. Okay, that's cool. So uh, there are 12 dynamic templates and also design template. So those are probably more ecstatic template so but i'm interested in dynamic template and i like to install this uh, bookstore template so uh, i guess i'm gonna just uh, start installation click and so it looks like uh, these are required plugins and then it says if you don't install one or more plugins from list this list uh the specific uh, section of the screen displayed via this program will be missing. So make sure you, I think I have to check all of that. And what's this extra? So this is just extra. So it's not required, but uh, if I wanted to, I can just check and then install at the same time. So I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and continue and actually starting uh, installing right now. Oh, actually, yeah, so Elementor because this is a fresh WordPress site, croc blocks required Elementor, or well, maybe this template required Elementor. So it's now installing. All right, so it's done. So I fast forwarded this uh, this section, but uh, it took me about uh, maybe a minute or two. So it was pretty fast. 
Okay, so the next step is demo content import. Uh, append demo content to my existing content. So I don't really have existing content. So I'm gonna put, uh, choose, uh, replace my existing content with demo content. So that means, uh, yeah, I wanna install the demo content. So I'm gonna just hit uh, uh, continue here. Okay, so let's put the uh, password. If it works, okay. So I'm gonna just uh, fast forward this section again. Pause this video. And Okay, so it's not too bad. It took me about uh, two to three minutes, uh, less than three minutes. So let's hit continue. And again, now uh, regenerating on the thumbnails. Um, yeah, once again, I'm gonna just uh, pause this part again. So I'm gonna hit pause. So it's now it's 20%. So they are installing uh, uh, Jet Element plugins. And next one is uh, showcase uh, the upcoming events using a listing grid. So once again, I'm gonna just uh, pause the video again and come back. Okay, so it's past uh, 60%, so it's still keep going. And I'm gonna just pause video again and maybe probably grab a coffee. Okay, so it's almost done, it's 99%. Okay, so it looks like it's done. It probably took me about five, six minutes uh, to import all the content, uh, but it wasn't too bad. So, you know, you can just uh, go to your kitchen and grab coffee and just sit, wait. Uh, all right, so anyway, um, let's probably take a look at the uh, website. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's here. Uh, let me just uh, browse what about popular here. Okay. So what about, uh, let's see, uh, uh, paper book, is it working? English. Okay, so filter works. Uh, so let's go back to, uh, uh, let's see, uh, their blog page. Okay, so they have, okay, they have quite a bit uh, entry here. All right, so I'm gonna just see at uh, the back end go back to the dashboard okay so let's see um, okay I guess I have to update those uh, let's see probably do that later so I want to see like the page so okay so it's got all the 11 pages and what about the products so they probably have a lot of products okay so 44 that's not too bad and then uh, what about the post? Okay, so it's only 20 posts. What about the media? All right, so this, should, okay, so there is uh, 184. All right. All right, so let's take a quick look at, um, uh, listing this stuff. Okay, so yeah, they got uh, oh, they got the quite a bit of listing. Uh, and what about uh, MetaBox? Okay, uh, probably they have taxonomy too. Okay, so there's no taxonomy. Uh, what about the Query Builder? Okay, so they're back. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna take a look at those later on. All right. So anyway, um, it was quite easy, and the experience, my experience of importing uh, one of their dynamic template was uh, really smooth and easy to do. Uh, you know, there's some waiting time, of course, uh, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Yeah. So look, like, looks like they have lots of content, like lots, like, oh, you know, almost 200 uh, media files. So uh, it took me 
you know, probably like five to 10 minutes of my experience. So, uh, but the overall experience is pretty straightforward and pretty intuitive. So uh, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.